One minute on osmosis. Well, osmosis is the diffusion of water, but we need to be very careful to include the def in, in the definition the things we need. So it's the movement of water particles from an area of high water concentration to low water concentration, that it has in common with diffusion, but it's through a semi-permeable membrane. And you can see this diagram here says differentially permeable membrane, it's semi-permeable membrane, it means the same thing. And that, for our purposes, is a cell membrane. And so osmosis can't happen when you um, turn a tap on and water goes from a high concentration in the tap to a low concentration in the air because it hasn't gone through a cell membrane. And the diagram here shows the high concentration of water particles compared to a low concentration of water particles and water will move in that direction. It doesn't require energy like diffusion and it's used in biology all the time. For example, in root hair cells, if there's a high concentration of water in the soil and there's a low concentration of water in the root hair cell, then water will move in via osmosis. How might they examine us on this? Well, you may remember this is one of our core practicals where we put pieces of potato, which we cut into three centimeter lengths. That's a control variable, making sure the potato sizes are the same. And we put them in different sugar solutions, which had different concentrations of sugar and therefore different concentrations of water. What they might examine you on is they might ask you to predict what would happen if they showed you two concentrations and said, which way would the water move? Or well, the water would move from the high water concentration to the low water concentration. They might give you a graph which shows how water is lost from a piece of potato, for example, and ask you to read off. And the last thing they might ask you to do is they might say a piece of potato was put into some pure water and it grew in, in mass from three grams to 4.5 grams. What percentage mass increase would that be? Well, the increase in mass is 1.5 grams over the original three grams. So 1.5 grams over three grams is, is 0.5 times 100. That's 50 percent. So you might need to do some a little bit of mass here to work out percentage increases in uh, osmosis. We're out of here.